Hi, so today we will be looking at entry-level electric guitars. Namely, we will be looking at Stratocasters with humbuckers, also known as HSS struts or just super struts, which I believe is the best option for guitar beginners. We will only look at established brands like Yamaha, Cord, Ibanez and of course Fender Squire, and we will check out the cheapest one from each brand. Now, before we start, I would like to thank guys and gals at the Pasia Music Store who made this video possible. It's a family-owned business which is getting really rare as everything is being run by Starbucks these days and they have an online store, so if you are still in the EU <coughs> and feel like supporting them or just buying something, you may check them out at this link. So, first of all, what is an HSS Strat and why do I consider it to be the best beginner guitar? If you already know it, you can skip directly to the review with that button that will appear somewhere over here, but if not, let's start with the HSS part. Uh, it's all about pickups. Pickups are what translates the vibrations of the string into electricity. So basically, they are what makes an electric guitar electric. As most probably you have guessed, they are one of the most important factors when it comes to the sound of an electric guitar. And because the next most important thing when it comes to the sound is you, and you can't buy a new you, uh, pickup configuration is the most important thing when picking the guitar for you. Yeah, that's a little convoluted, but it's true, believe me. Now, there are two basic types of pickups. Singles, and humbuckers. Single pickups are great if you want a strong, bright, clangy, clean sound with a lot of pop, especially for funk, blues and country. The drawback is that they also pick up a lot of background noise. Now, this is not a problem when you are in the clean channel, but as soon as you turn on distortion, you get this. So that's where humbuckers enter the picture. Basically, they are two single pickups wired together to cancel out the noise. The problem with that is that uh, some of the high tones also get cancelled out and they just don't have the same kind of pop in the clean channel. So the bottom line, if you want to play anything heavier than plain or rock and roll, you should have humbuckers. And since HSS struts have a humbucker and two singles, they combine the best of both worlds. Now to the strut part. Strut stands for Stratocaster. Those are simply copies of Fender Stratocaster. All Stratocasters come with a bolt-on neck and a tremolo system, although usually it's a very simple one. Now, struts are easy and cheap to manufacture, and usually when you have a choice between a strut and a Les Paul with the same price tag, strut will have better hardware and they are also easier to fix if you manage to go all Pete Towns and own them. Uh, and actually with a little bit of shop class and some soldering skills, you will be able to do a lot of maintenance, mods and tuning on your strut, as long as you are not afraid of completely messing it up. So now let the fight begin. We will rate guitars using a M&Ms. Each guitar will get a score of 1 to 4 M&Ms. 4 for the first place, 3 for the second and so on. Now let's quickly introduce the contenders. First we have Yamaha Pacifica EG112 at $250 or 200 euros. Second we have Ibanez Geo GRX 70 QA TBB. Whoa, I got that right finally. And it's 200 bucks or 150 euros. Third, we have Fender Squire Bullet Strat at $170 or 130 euros. And finally, we have Chord G Series 110 at 150 bucks or 120 euros. So, when it comes to the price, the order is clear. Yamaha is the most expensive one, then it's Ibanez, Squire, and finally Chord. Now, the funny thing to notice is uh, that Yamaha is twice as expensive as Chord, so let's see if it's twice as good. Let's start by comparing the build quality. Now, before I say anything, I have to admit one thing. These are all good guitars. Really good. Now, there are no frets sticking beyond the fretboard, so you can move your hand around freely. Uh, and a few years ago, it would actually be impossible to buy such quality with this kind of money. But I guess times have changed for better, so maybe the world is not on a straight path to being flushed down the galactic toilet. At least when it comes to guitar quality. Uh, if only quality control of politicians, celebrities and other role models would make as much progress as quality control in guitar factories in Indonesia, because that's where most of those buildings are made. Anyway, let's start with the worst. And Cord, I'm looking at you. Now, this is expected given that this is the cheapest guitar and there are no buzz noises, but the strings had to be set up quite high in order to achieve this, and this means little precision and bad play feel. But the real problem are the tuning machines. They are pretty hard to turn and they do not turn fluently, so tuning this guitar is actually much, much harder than it should be. And the bronze medal goes to Yamaha. Same problems. We had to set up the action a little bit too high and the tuners are a little bit better than those in court, but not even in the same league as those on Squire and Ibanez. Uh, both court and Yamaha had to be tuned up a few times while shooting this video. And Fender and Ibanez stayed in tune unless I went full David Gilmour on them. One thing to notice about Yamaha and Ibanez is that they only have one tone control, while Court and Squire have two. In theory it takes away some tonal flexibility, but in practice it makes little to no difference, so I'm not taking away any points for that. Gold goes to Squire and Ibanez. Low action, really good tuning machines. 
Ibanez was a little bit better than Fender when it comes to tuning machines and action, but the output jack on the guitar we got was faulty, you had to really shove the cable in to get it to click. Now this is something easy to fix if you know how to use a screwdriver, but nevertheless it should not happen in an Ibanez, you know, Ibanez is like Toyota of guitars, it's really reliable. And big props for Fender, they pretty much always had big quality control problems like Alfa Romeo, but recently it looks like they got over it. All Fenders I have played over the last two years were at least okay, while five years ago buying a Fender was like first click in uh, Windows Minesweeper. So when it comes to build quality, it's uh, Ibanez and Fender, and then Yamaha and Cord. Now let's move into subjective territory, play feel. Well, in 99% of the cases, uh, guitar with lower action will win me over, and this is the case here. So the first place goes to uh, Fender and Ibanez. I will not pick one of them. Uh, Ibanez is a little bit faster, as I said, it's like the Subaru STI of guitars. Now this is mostly due to lower action and the thinner neck. It has this sort of battery feel when playing and it's just inviting you to shred a little bit. Fender is slower, but low action makes it really soft and it's playful, it makes you feel a little bit like Hendrix. <laughs> In general, those two do not feel like $200 guitars, they feel twice as expensive, seriously. Now, second place goes to Cort and Yamaha, again I will not pick one of them. The action on both is a little bit higher, so the guitars are not as soft as Fender and Ibanez. You have to put in a little bit of effort into pushing the strings or bending them, and this makes you feel like the guitar is fighting you instead of helping you to play. Uh, now this is not what you want, because if you are a total beginner you will be just more likely to quit playing altogether. Still, given the price of both of the guitars, this is really good, especially for chord. So, looking at the scoreboard, we have Fender leading, Ibanez slightly behind, and then chord and Yamaha. Now, let's check how they sound. This is purely subjective. I will be using a Line 6 Spider 15 Classic amp. It's a pretty decent beginner amp, priced at $120 or 90 euros. We will be using exactly the same settings for each guitar. We will start with Funk on the next single pickup. Now I messed up and I didn't turn on the proper microphone for the funk part, so the sound will be a little bit worse than in the other samples. And the worst funk sound goes to Yamaha. It's muddy and not crisp enough. On the bright side, it's the least noisy of all the guitars. Silver goes to Squire. It's really good, it has that Fender glass sound to it. The sound is poppy and crisp. Also silver, Ibanez. It doesn't have a next single pickup, so I use the middle one. Still, it completely delivered. They both deserved uh, two MMs. Two and a half, actually. Gold goes to Cord. It's a monster. Yeah, the guitar is not that great to play, but in this case, the sound makes up for it. Next up, blues, on the neck pickup. Fourth place goes to Ibanez. Again, it has no neck uh, single pickup, so I use the middle one, and it's not just the sound I'm looking for. Third place goes to Yamaha. Uh, it's pretty good, but again, not as crisp and bright as the top picks. Now, first place. Fender and Cord. Again, Cord is really hard to play, but the sound is just as good as Fender. They both have that slightly breaking sound uh, with a lot of highs and poppy lows. Now Rock, on the bridge humbucker. Fourth place goes to Fender, the humbucker is simply weak. Uh, it has weak signal. You can solve the problem by pushing the gain on the amp, but we have promised that we will use the same settings for each guitar, so there you go. Third, Yamaha. Again, less crisp and a little bit muddy. Second place, go to Cord. The tone is similar to Fender, but there's more power to it. The pickups are a little bit hotter. Mm -hmm. 
And first place, as expected, Ibanez just rules when it comes to distortion. There are no comments needed. Now, let's try to play some rock lead guitar on the bridge humbucker. Fourth place goes to Kort and Yamaha. Maybe it's subjective because they were harder to play than the other ones. I don't know. Second place goes to Fender. And first place, of course, uh, goes to Ibanez. And finally, Fingerstyle on the next single pickup. Fourth place goes to Chord. Chord was muddy and lacked those crisp high tones, which is surprising given that it performed perfectly when played with a pick. Now, third place, Ibanez. Ibanez has a humbucker by the neck, so I recorded two samples. One is with the humbucker. And another one is with the split humbucker and middle pickup. Now, they are both interesting, but the humbucker sound is muddy, and the split one is too bright, there's just no middle ground. Yamaha was a bit muddy, but overall okay. And Squire was the best, everything was audible, so let's put it on the scoreboard, I just ran out of space a little bit. So, let's take a look at the scoreboard. We have Squire leading with 24 MMs, then Ibanez with 22.5, Court with 19.5 and Yamaha with 14. I would say it's a draw between Fender and Ibanez, but uh, which one should you buy? It's quite simple, if you want to focus on blues, country or funk, go for Squire. You'll need that single pickup in the neck and, uh, at least when it comes to me, a slightly thicker neck really helps with vibrato. But if you want to go heavy, like hard rock or metal, just go with Ibanez, this is a no-brainer. Some people call Ibanez race guitars because they are just made for shredding and you also get the neck humbucker if you want that Santana tone. Very important thing to remember is that guitars vary from one to another. Every guitar is basically a piece of wood, and as Tom Cruise said in Minority Report, no two pieces of wood are exactly alike. Uh, this means that even the same model, same year guitars may be actually very different, so make sure you try a couple of guitars personally before picking the one right for you. And uh, also this is why I wouldn't buy a guitar online, it's better to try it out in person. And don't buy with your eyes, buy with your hands. You know, most people quit playing guitar because actually it's pretty hard. So make sure you pick the guitar that's the easiest to play for you. Not the one you think will impress your friends or girls. And as I said, all these guitars are really seriously good. I mean it. To show you how good they are, we have tried a $1,500 uh, guitar here. Uh, Ibanez Nita Strauss signature. I'll have to look up who Nita Strauss is. <laughs> Of course it's better, it has a really great tremolo system and build quality is near perfect, although not as good as gems. And pickups are hot as hell, both in heavy distortion and in clean channels, but is it 7 times better? No, I don't think so. Uh, honestly, Fender and uh, Ibanez Geo that we have tried have very similar playfield to that signature model, and if you are an advanced player you will be able to utilize what the more expensive models have to offer, but for beginners with Squire and Ibanez Geo, you get more than enough for a couple of years. Well, if you last that long, of course. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. And peace.